Okay, uh, this is day uh, 161. This is part three. Deep uh, Milwaukee mentioned Q's post about the bridge a couple of weeks back, calling it the bridge between public and private. And of course, that's the bridge, you know, between the public resources, weaponized surveillance, which is FBI or maybe FBI DEA, and of course, the private side, which is now DIA. DIA is about 75% civilian, so it's mainly the private side. And the bridge in our whole story has been the Navy Yard Bridge. So it literally is the bridge between the two. And of course, Imran Awan is there. Uh, the, of course, uh, the MIS department is there. Building 213, the Threat Center is there. Um, of course, that's the road that John Wilkes phone booth was on, was there. We've been there many times. Uh, you know it well, M Street right there, the Navy Yard, etc. That is literally the bridge between public and private. So why is the bridge between public and private, private so important? Well, it's because it, they have a hammer. Maybe that was the SES silver hammer uh, that uh, Brennan and, and Clapper were, were clapping and, and Brennaning on. Uh, but no, why, do, why is the bridge so important to have a private interest? Well, that's the fingers in the pie. If you just have weaponized intelligence services for the good of the country, all you've got is a James Bond service. You're doing everything for the good of the company. But if you bring in the private interests to then weaponize against people to steal their secrets or to destroy their assets so that you can put your executives in there or to do uh, Operation Underground Railroad type brownstone type operations to uh, compromise people to do what you want them to do, you're good to go. So weaponized uh, uh, disruption or weaponized surveillance or weaponized compromise really doesn't make much sense without a private interest. So thank gosh we have that John Wilkes Booth Navy Yard Bridge, the Anacostia Bridge. That's what it is. Now let's that's for international. Now uh, there's a great article out by this In Surge group, A S U R G, In Surge, talking about the Highland Forum being one of those types of bridges. Highland Forum started by this guy named O'Neill, then a guy named Marshall, and then all these Marshall acolytes, which are like Dick Cheney and Woolsey and Wolfowitz and so forth. So this is the this is the people who do pay to play, right? So this is this is the group. This this is one form of a cover, Highland cover. There was another one, Highland Forum. Um, there was another one that was done by Snowden talked about called the Island Forum, done in Singapore. Okay. So those are just different types of covers. Now, who also does covers? DIA. DIA, Defense Intelligence Agency, I talked to this morning, does all defense cover office, the DCO. The DCO does all covers. So if you were, uh, let's say, a director of strategy in Congress as your cover, okay, but your real job was to have a DEA license and be, you know, go to parties and compromise diplomats, we'd say, okay, I got it. We'll make you an Awan. You'll be an Omar Awan in Congress, and we'll make you director of strategy. Or we need to have a whole bunch of people infiltrated into the Congress or into all the different departments across the Dying Corps backbone, across the federally secure backbone, this uh, uh, Cypernet or Cypern, I like to say Cypernet. Um, well, then we'll create a cover for you. So we'll, we'll hack the OPM database and then we'll go get old Social security numbers from California veterans that have died, and we'll put you into these different uh, different places. We'll get you an inspector general cover. We'll come up with some kind of inspector general to give you an excuse to go in for two weeks to talk about backup and recovery or whatever the cover is. That's the defense cover office. That's in DIA. So I believe that's going to be strategic now. We've, we've Everything in this series never took you away from that Navy bridge. Anybody who's watched this, this series knows that. We have a visual now of the private side and the public side. Andy McCabe, weaponized surveillance, weaponized everything. Uh, and then the public side, really, uh, I would say Burgess would be the face of that. Now, now let's add, right next to DIA is DHS. The fusion centers in the United States are exactly the same thing. Bring all the information together, public and private, okay, civilian and non-civilian, and use that to weaponize against your domestic companies, the domestic enemies, squeaky wheels, journalists that you don't like, etc. People that you want to oust to put your executives in, pay to play in the United States, Uranium One. So, the bridge, the concepts bridge is the Q is right. It is the bridge. It's not M. It's not Q Street though. It's M Street. 
and it's the Navy Yard. And Highland Forum being one example of a cover, the people who do covers, defense cover organization, it's gonna be DIA. We're focusing on that, we're gonna have the answer here pretty quick. Just who are the SES executives in the defense cover organization and DIA, and we've got the other side of the equation, the other side of the Anacostia Bridge.